Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, February 22nd. And today I am going to cover the newest ticker symbol to the Yield Max family, MSTY. The underlying is MSTR, MicroStrategy. So it just came out. It's launching today. So I figured I'd do a little preview video of what it looks like. Um, and, and I'll even plug the information into my spreadsheets. Uh, but I'm only going to cover this on a daily basis if certain criteria is met on this video. So we'll have a little fun with that towards the end. But anyway, what is MSTR? It's MicroStrategy. I'm not going to get into this too much. I should probably do a separate video on MicroStrategy. But per their website, the largest independent publicly traded business intelligence company with the leading enterprise analytics platform, our, our vision is to enable intelligence everywhere. Okay. They're known for holding Bitcoin on their balance sheet. That's really what they're known for, right? And if you look here, they hold 190,000 Bitcoin. That's insane. And Bitcoin's been going up. So now this company obviously is coming, you know, becoming very valuable. Um, here's some of their executive team. I heard Michael Saylor name before. Um, so yeah, again, I'm not going to get into micro strategy, but I'm going to get into MSTY, which is on the, you know, the newest yield max fund, no distribution rate yet. No 30 day, um, yield, obviously. Um, also I checked the website yesterday. They didn't have it. I'm not sure if they posted their intraday trades last night. I did not check last night. So Corey, if you're watching and you caught their intraday trades from last night, uh, please send me them over if you can you don't mind. Uh, Inception shows February 22nd. Obviously, that's today. Expense ratio 0.99%. No, no crap. Net assets, net asset value. Well, the net assets is show $20. One share outstanding. So obviously, this is not really up to date because they're holding shows a little something different. But anyway, they're going to launch at 20 bucks. Here's their holdings. Um, yeah, if I click intraday trades, nothing comes up. So I'll go to their holdings. And, you know, here it is. So right off the bat, okay, they opened a synthetic position with a 680 strike price and an expiration date only dating out to March 28th, which is very surprising, which again, I'll cover on the spreadsheets. So they do have shares outstanding of 125,000 plus one. So obviously they added 125,000 on top of the one which was who knows who that one is. And then they did a one weekly call expiring actually this Friday, two days out uh, with a 730 strike price. Okay, so let's get into the date. Actually, let me go back to the website, make sure there's nothing else. There's a prospectus. Yeah, not, nothing else to cover from the website. Um, so here it is. I added a little spreadsheet. Uh, synthetics again, I'm assuming I'm just going to use these numbers unless there was an intraday trade. If there's an intraday trade, I'll update the figures. But I'm showing 37 contracts, which was added by call, sell, put around the same price because MSTR is priced at 672.80. Strike price for the synthetic is 680. Again, expiration date March 28th. So the put um, they, is a higher credit than it costs to do the buy call. So they actually made money on this transaction. They made 13,431. And I'm not even going to assume that they're going to pay anything, you know, for the February data. Uh, when, so when I say March profits, this is, you know, going to be added into the following month, which will eventually be the payout, um, which, you know, eventually actually pays the beginning of the following month, the beginning of April. So the next payment coming up, I'm not expecting anything from MSTY based on how they currently handle things. Um, so, yeah, ETF price, I'm going to put under 221, which is yesterday. I'm just going to put 20 bucks there and then I'll update the end of close today what the you know new price is. And then 672.80 was the price of MSTR. Right now, my formula is not updating uh, because obviously it wasn't listed on the market yesterday. So here's the new here's the weekly call. 37 contracts. They got 518, right? 518 for that. Let me just make sure. Oh, it doesn't. I have to export it to show it. Wow. 
yeah, right here, 5.175, yeah, round it up, so they got 518, it, I did put 5.175, just so you know, so the correct number will be there, so, so yeah, 19,000 bucks they made, first day, 19,000 bucks, boom, um, strike price, they chose 730, that's 8.5% out of the money, and guess what, two trading days, so plenty of room to wiggle there, Break even, $735.18. Again, MSTR is priced at $672.80. Cash and treasuries, there's cash, about $2.5 million. Um, not sure where that comes from, but um, either way, it's, it came from somewhere. That's the starting point of the fund. It's fronted by somebody. Um, and yeah, so that's it. Um, again, weekly... Weekly income, distribution, 15 cents. Daily income, two cents. Daily yield, not coming up because my MSTY price right here is an error, or no, it's zero because it doesn't exist yet because it's not in the market. Um, so here's the active tab, 37 contracts with a 730 strike, 8.5% out of the money with an expiration date of Friday. Again, two trading days. 30-day IV formula is not working. Um, I need to phone a friend again on that. Probably Corey. 672.80 is the price again. Oh, I didn't update this. Um, so that's going to be obviously MSTY. Yeah, I didn't expect anything to come up. And this will be MSTR. Okay, not a bad looking chart, but it's probably because of Bitcoin going up. Uh, the cap amount, it's not going to fill in until this number fills in here. This is for the price of MSTY, but that'll update, um, you know, once that's filled in. My reaction is I don't have one. This is a new fund, brand new. I'm covering a fund from the beginning, or I may cover a fund from the beginning. All right, payment info. Again, I put this under March. Short synthetic income, 13000 Short call income, 19000 Net income total, 32000 125000 outstanding shares. Um, and then you see the total income per share, $0.26. Cents. Short call income per share, $0.15. Cents. Obviously, this is going to change drastically today. But, uh, you know, I just, it, it's a very interesting, it's very interesting to cover these right from the start. Also, this is not updating for whatever reason. Maybe because it's new. I have no idea. But I need this to be updated as well. Okay. So, yeah, that's the end of it. That's the gist of it. Um, MSTR, from what I understand, is a very volatile stock. So, you know, we shall see. We'll, we'll see how, uh, how it performs. Um, we can go, if we go here, we go to MSTR. IV bar, I think bar chart is like the best. So if we see average volume, here we go. Do, 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 do. Okay, where'd it go? Implied volatility, 83%. Historical volatility, 88%. IV percentile, 80%. Okay. So hopefully the IV low is 50%. Wow. IV high is 105%. So hopefully it's in the 80% range, which is like, again, this is like Coney, Coney range, which is really, really good. So I don't know. Uh, this fund is very, looks, looks pretty good. I need to look, I need to dig further into MSTR because uh, I don't know much about the underlying outside of they hold Bitcoin. So maybe I'll do a video on that at some point. But if you guys want me to cover MSTY on a daily basis, I have a job for you, all right? So let's have fun with this. And this is for real, though. Um, let's see how strong this community is. So within the 24 hours that this video is posted, or I'll just say within hopefully by the end of the day, um, if I get 500 likes, I know this is corny, but just bear with me, 500 likes in this video and 10,000 views, Hopefully by the end of the day, if not, you know, I'll give it till tomorrow morning. I'll, I'll add MSTY to my daily videos along with TSLY and CONY, okay? 
So, and I'm, I'm dead serious with this. If it doesn't reach it, I'm, I'm not going to cover it daily. But if it does, I'll do it. I'll make it work and I'll figure it out and I'll do it. Uh, because I do want to cover this because it's from the beginning. And um, that would be pretty cool to cover fun from the beginning. And this is probably one of the more exciting funds that have launched lately. So it's a, it's a perf right place, right time. But I need you guys to step up too, you know, as my the YouTube community and just, you know, just hit the like button 500 times and then 10,000 views. I think that's very doable. I checked the uh, prior videos and, you know, it's more towards the high range, but it's a, it's a small favor. It's my, I'm asking you guys to do me a favor now. So if you guys can do that for me, um, then that would be greatly appreciated. So, and then I'll start covering it starting tomorrow. I'll combine them all. I'll have to figure out a new thumbnail and everything, but, you know, we'll go from there. So anyway, as always, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This video is for fun and entertainment. So I hope you were entertained and I hope you had fun. But you guys know what to do from here, all right? All right, guys, I got to go. Have a great day. Later.